Good evening, Maestro Kfir. I'm very delighted to meet the man behind the fascinating new book of The Wisdom of King Solomon. So, um, first of all, what made you write the book? Since childhood, I was fascinating by the title of The Wisest Man of All. And uh, um, growing and, and studying Kabbalah and studying uh, um, esoteric uh, doctrines and, and, and other things made me feel as if the, the facts are not precise, meaning that, that most of the book I read that had to do with uh, uh, the wisdom of King Solomon uh, had to do with um, a perception of the writer about it. Which, which is nothing wrong with it, but yet when you talk about something which is very precise, the seals are very precise. They are, uh, if we put it in parameters, it's like applications. And you can't, you can't say that the application is like this or like that. It has to be precise. So I had the feeling that uh, uh, I need, uh, uh, as uh, a person who teaches, a person who does uh, therapy and things like this, that I, I owe myself and the people I know uh, uh, to bring those ancient secrets into a level in which uh, people can see the difference between the knowledge that was common in the market till the knowledge that I'm bringing. Right, and uh, it seems to me that a lot has been written about the topic of uh, King Solomon's wisdom in the last 30 to 40 years. So what would you say makes your book special? Um, two things make it special. First of all, um, I um, made 10 years ago a YouTube uh, film in which I uh, show that uh, um, King Solomon's seals are not just an esoteric issue, that it has to do more than this, meaning that it has to talk about sacred geometry. And we know nowadays that sacred geometry uh, has vibration, and, and people use it for many reasons. So uh, mainly the book is made in such a way that none of the books that were written about King Solomon's seals uh, had it, meaning I connected between, between the Bible and King Solomon wisdom and the graphics, the design of the seals are the most current one, meaning uh, most of the, of the people who use King Solomon seals use it for magic in previous centuries, and they haven't got the clue of the Hebrew. So they used Hebrew and mixed it with Latin and everything, but apparently it didn't work because we know that when God created the world, he used the 22 letters and 10 spheres in order to create this, uh, what we can call application. So this book is pretty much uh, the most precise when it comes to the knowledge and when it comes to how to practice it. So what you're saying is it can be used as a device for people who would like to take, uh, in light of your book, some proactive steps in order to potentially improve their quality of living. Yes, so definitely. I, I, would... I, in, in, the book, in the book, you would find uh, a way in which I say how to activate them, how to work with them. Meaning, we know that, that the holograms uh, can change our aura, and we know that everything in life has to do with our uh, uh, um, field, the energy field. Some call it uh, the electromagnetic field, and some would call it your aura field, but it uh, bounds to be the same. Meaning that with the seals, uh, wearing them or having them around you, and, and having uh, some, somehow relationship with them, uh, you can, uh, yes, better your uh, life. And um, uh, there is a, a great scientific proof to it that there is a device which, uh, which I use for informative medication, which the device has got the capability to tell you what's your aura and your energy without the seal and how the seal can improve your, uh, your field. So it's, it's not uh, as uh, uh, centuries ago, people used to use it to call it mambo jumbo uh, esoteric thing. It's, it's real. I mean, it has to 
to, um, to uh, 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 it has validations that you can find. And you can find it in my YouTube of King Solomon Seals, which I explain how it resonates when you, when you hold a seal, how it resonates with your left brain and your right brain, and it can vibrate and create a feeling that you cannot ignore. I mean, you feel, you feel it. So where could one get a hold of the seals and other mystical codes you're talking about uh, in your yeah. book, uh, so, in a physical so, form? Yes. So, so uh, thank you for asking, because actually, while asking, uh, uh, we can spread the news. So first of all, uh, you can find it in our website, which is www.kingsolomonseals.com altogether. So that's one place that one can learn and, and, and see videos and, and uh, learn about each product and what it consists inside. That's one way. The other way, there are stores around the world uh, that uh, sell it. So once uh, one wants to uh, find around their place uh, um, where to buy it, they can go into our website and uh, we can uh, recommend them uh, a store in their area. But, but it, it, gives, it gives, when people really uh, uh, start using it, it, it changes their, their, their vibration. Meaning it's not, it's not the one that creates the miracle, it's you that makes the miracle, but you've got uh, uh, some sort of support. In this support, you can really make uh, a change. So what would you recommend for people who would like to practice by themselves some of the methods presented in your book? Um, in, in general, I would like, I would like them before, before even reading the book, um, going into the website and with their intuition, seeing which um, uh, sacred uh, geometry touches them. Because um, I don't want people to, to prevent themselves from having a growth with their uh, intuition and, and uh, listen to my, the knowledge I'm revealing. I think that the first thing is really uh, uh, allow yourself to, like a little child, that walk into a store and see what, what this store does for him. Uh, later on, to, to see what you desire in your life. Like if somebody uh, cannot stand the stress that we have nowadays, and we know that the world is going to a major metamorphosis, uh, and, and uh, we pretty much are pretty lost because we really don't know what the future holds for us. Not that in, 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 in previous uh, centuries, we knew exactly, but there were certain sets of codes that we could uh, follow them and understand. While now, uh, um, before the corona and after the corona, we realize that there is a lot of changes and a new order is coming to this world. So this, this is our like instruments that one can use in, in better their life, or as we say, King Solomon Seals, mystical codes to better your life. Uh, so, Joseph, I had a fantastic time talking to you. Um, I wish you the best of luck. And uh, if I do say so myself, I think that you have managed to present the wisdom of the smartest men of all, which is, of course, King Solomon's, uh, in a refreshing and uplifting manner, manner uh, in your new book. Uh, so thank you very much and uh, take care. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. And thank you for those smart questions that led me into uh, revealing some of the knowledge. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.